Welcome, this is chapter 3 slash 4 test review. This video is going to be covering numbers 21 through 28. What we have on the screen here is number 21 through number 24. The instructions ask us to find the root of the equation. Given number 21 here, let's slide it down. You have f of x equals to 1 half x minus 3. And I actually gave you the graph for it already. Okay, um, looking at this, uh, we can find the root. Okay, to find the root, I write the original equation first of all. This is my original equation. Then I'm going to let f of x equal to 0. So I'm going to let f of x equal to 0. So do you see how this right here became 0? After that, I solve for x. Add 3 to both sides, you should get 3 equals to 1 half x. x is not alone, there's this divide by 2. Multiply by 3 to both sides, multiply by 2 to both sides, you get 6 equals to x. I want you like you to notice that the order pair 6, comma, 0, right? 6, comma, 0. The root of 6, comma, 0 is actually the x-intercept. Let's look at it. 6 comma 0 is right here. All right. So it seems like finding the root of the equation is the same thing as finding the x-intercept. So to find the x-intercept, we just look at the graph. So we're going to be applying that to the next problem. OK. Now we have number 21 f of x equals 2x plus 4. We look at this. We notice that the root is the x-intercept, which is the order pair of negative 4, comma, 0. How do we get that? This is 0, 0. Let's count. OK, here, let me make this bigger for you. Let's just count. OK, here's 0, 0. Count 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, that's why it's negative 4, comma, 0, because the x is negative 4 here. All right. So it seems like finding the root is very easy because we just look for the x-intercept within the graph. All right. Number 23, we have this here. OK, you can pause the video here if you would like to try to find the x-intercept. OK, the root okay, is the x-intercept, which is negative 1 comma 0. So let's look at this. This is 0, 0. I go here, negative 1. This is the point in which the graph intersects the x-axis. That's why the point is negative 1 comma 0. So the root of this equation is negative 1. We have 24 here. 24 gives us this equation, right? Negative 1 over 3x minus 1. The root of is the x-intercept. The order pair here is negative 3, comma, 0. How do I do that? Here's the origin, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So the root is negative 3. Okay? There you go. That is 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Notice that the root is the x-intercept. Okay. If you look through our notes, we talked about the different ways uh, we can express the word x-intercept. We call that the solution, we call that the root, and we also call that the zero of the function. All right, number 25 through 28, like I just said, finding the zero of the function. Notice how the zero of the function is the same thing as the root and the x-intercept. All right. So here we go. f of x equals to x plus 2. Let f of x equals to 0 and solve for x. Notice this is the same procedure as we did to finding the x-intercept. So f of x becomes 0 and solve for x. So I have to subtract 2 to both sides. Simplify. x equals to negative 2. Notice that this is finding the x-intercept. Same process, all right? Next, we have number 26. 
right? We always have to let f of x equals to 0. So the whole thing here becomes 0. Do you see the next line? Okay. Right, that's how it becomes 0. And solve for x. So we have to add 18 to both sides because we have to deal with the most outward thing first. Then divide 3 to both sides. Okay. So that's the plus 18. 18 equals to 3x. Divide by 3 to both sides. After I divide 3 to both sides, I simplify 18. Divide by 3 is 6. 3 over 3 is 1. Notice this is like finding the x-intercept as well. Next part. Number 27, gr is equal to negative 5r, subtract 20. Same thing here. Notice how you let f of x equals to 0. In this case, we're going to let g of r equals to 0. And solve for x. Here is the equation again. g of r becomes 0 solve for r so i have to add 20 to both sides after i add 20 both sides i simplify 20 equals to negative 5r oh, let me just zoom in in for you okay negative 20 20 equals to negative 5r divide by negative 5 to both sides you should simplify 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4 Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is just 1, which is equal to just r. Notice that this is the same thing as finding the x-intercept. Okay, good. Okay, let's go to 28. We have 28. G of x equals to 4r plus 2. Notice here, I'm just going to let the g of x equals to 0. Okay, whatever this is, that is just our function notation. Right. Subtract 2 to both sides. I deal with the most outward thing first. Negative 2 equals to 4r. Divide r to both sides because I'm trying to get r alone. You should get negative 1 half on the left hand side. Right hand side just becomes r. Notice this is like finding the x-intercept. There you go for this one. Let's go to the next one. All right, 29 through 32 asks us to, no, wait, that's 28. So that's it for this video. You have to wait for the next video to find the slope.